Erythromalalgia, also known as EM, is a rare neurovascular condition that most commonly affects the feet, but also may occur in the hands, face, or other parts of the body. There are three hallmark symptoms of EM. Skin reddening due to excessive blood flow to the affected area, increase in skin temperature, and pain that ranges from mild tingling to severe burning. EM flares are most commonly triggered by warmth, physical activity, or stress. In addition, certain foods, spices, and alcohol may trigger an EM flare. While physical activity and exercise is important for overall health and peace of mind, people with EM may need to alter or change their activity in attempt to lessen their flares and flare intensity. Some people with EM may avoid exercising or taking hot baths or showers and may be unable to wear socks or closed shoes. Some people with EM may not tolerate having their feet below their knees or their hips and are more comfortable keeping their feet elevated. Flares may be intermittent or continuous. In addition to elevating the EM-affected area, some find some relief by removing shoes, socks, or warm clothing in an attempt to reduce the intensity of their EM flare. I started having symptoms of erythromyalgia when my sons were two and five years old, and I had a lot of concerns how I would be able to raise two boys. I had trouble just maintaining my poise while reading them bedtime stories. Sometimes I just couldn't wait to get away to the fan in my bedroom so that I could get relief. A small percentage of those affected with erythromyalgia have an inherited gene mutation which is thought to cause the condition. When educating oneself about erythromyalgia, it is important to understand that research shows the treatments effective in lessening flares. Whether the flare is caused by hereditary or idiopathic erythromyalgia remain the same. In these people, we know uh, definitively that EM is caused by mutations of a gene called SCN9A, and that gene encodes a molecule called NAV1.7. NAV1.7 acts as a volume knob in our pain signaling nerves, and the mutations in people with NAV1.7 make, make it overactive. It's as if the volume knob in pain signaling nerves had been turned up. A patient's guide to erythromyalgia was published about two years ago to support the patient's quest to bring essential information to this process. I found the patient's guide, which uh, I can say there's probably not a more complete uh, document out there about EM. I've actually used it to educate some physicians about the condition. It covers everything from what the disease is to ways to treat it. The organization responsible for compiling and publishing this comprehensive guide is the Erythromyalgia Association. The Erythromyalgia Association's mission is to empower those living with erythromyalgia to improve their quality of life. Please visit us today and read the Erythromyalgia Patient Guide at www.erythromyalgia.org.